Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Tower of Fantasy, we're going over how you can farm Tower of Fantasy world bosses constantly without having to personally change channels, clog this up. Okay, it's pretty simple, right? So you see how we're all here? We just killed this boss, Robarg. All you generally do is just wait until someone says like, boss, Lucia, channel 22, then you join their team, right? Once here, you can click this, transmit to the scenario where the leader's at. This teleports me to where the leader of the party is. And now I just straight up go to the boss and we kill the boss. It's uh, it's pretty easy, right? Pretty simple. So everyone's just getting ready and then you wanna like leave the team. Oh, they already kicked me. Like nice, because everyone is spawning in here ready to fight Lucia on channel 22, right? So now we go as a team and we fight the boss. This is gonna be a, you know, decently, decently long boss farm. But the nice thing about yelling out into a, like all chat to get a good big team going is everyone starts CCing and getting over here. So even I can go like this, uh, create team, uh, auto approve requests. I go, do, 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 Lucia 22, right? So this is what this is what you do. Lucia 22, I have an open party. People will join on my party in the top right. See, already got two people joining in from channel 123, probably where there was a previous fight. And now they're all gonna teleport on to me. And I'm probably just gonna straight up leave the party so that they can just all teleport here. And then I can create another party and I can say it in the world chat yet again, Lucia22. You can see they've CC'd and changed to my channel because they hit that like little button. I can like force tele teleport people hitting like that. Team call initiated, right? Nice, Jay's here, so they left. Uh, Zero still here, as you can see, someone Mulner's here. Uh, I can remove them because I can see that Zero's already here. So I can remove them from the party now that they're in channel 22. And uh, then someone else can join if they need to. Okay, as you can see, then that, that dude, like Jay joined. So then they're good to go. And uh, that's that's how it is. You just rinse repeat till you have like a ton of people in the same channel fighting the boss. And then you'll probably be good to go. And you just keep on killing and uh, repeating this and joining parties 24 seven constantly. You can create parties yourself doing this method and constantly fight world bosses. If you join on a team party member, it doesn't count for the like changing channel timer. So yeah, it's actually really convenient like that. Oh no, then these last two are joining in on it. Hopefully uh, those last two that are joining in now can actually get some loot, it's hard to say. Hard to say, but that's, that's how it is. Just spawn there, Lucia is dead. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you can just see, in the chest here, you can just force decipher it, but it's always best to perfect decipher so you have a chance of those SSR weapons. But if you just wanna constantly farm world bosses, you can force decipher, constantly go around opening up these boxes. Why not, right? Nightingale's Feather, okay, converted, nice, nice, nice. And that is how you constantly change channels and constantly farm world bosses. We can do one more. If you just go out into world chat, you can just give it a second. I'll quit my team because I don't need it. I'll just give it another second. Okay, being like, okay, people are doing the unicorn farm on 87. I don't care about any of that stuff. So then you just straight up wait for someone to yell out like any type of farm in the world chat. A hey, remember to grab the uh, boss loot. They do drop mount loot. So it's important to farm and pick up that. So yeah, that's generally how it goes. Now I have three more keys, so I can wait for, well, two more keys, right? So I can kill two more bosses with full loot capabilities. But as of right now, I think we can try going to 123. We can try Robarg and then I can start a boss here, right? Like if I just teleport over to Robarg, so we can join on the Lucia taxi and just kill Lucia again because why not? And then I can go like this, and then we CC to another channel and we kill Lucia yet again because it really is just that easy. You wait for someone that finds a boss in a world, they yell it to world chat, they turn their party on open, auto approve requests, and then bada bing bada boom, just like that, it happens. Leave the team, there we go. And then I can say, create team, 
auto approve requests. And then I can also say Lucia Taxi. And then we can both Lucia Taxi as, as friends. We can Lucia Taxi together as a team, right? Because this is Carl Boy. And now, uh, now Mobu's gonna join on me. Okay, uh, Lucia 110. Right? And then you keep going. As you can see, oh my god, we have so many people! Holy crap! This Lucia's gonna go down in like seconds, man. But <laughs> that's how it goes. You can see the little attacks, you just gotta avoid her front facing one. You're kinda like in a group like me. Katsu, Angel, yeah, I'm seeing people who are joining uh, previous parties. You can see like everyone's just jumping around, world farming for the different bosses, having fun. That's what I like about MMOs like this. You can just dick around with people, farm the world bosses. Even if you don't get like optimal loot, you can still just do it, right? So I think it's a, uh, I think it's always fun. Always a fan of MMO world bosses. But that is literally how you uh, just constantly mount farm. Sorry, not mount farm, but world boss farm in Tower of Fantasy. You just legit tower a fantasy a CC hop and a group world chat hop between parties until someone opens up a party, finds a boss on a world, go to that world and just kill him. So it's a it's a nice process all in all, you know? You can get a ton of loot, get a ton of kills pretty fast. Right now Tower of Fantasy is like pretty popular, so a lot of people are farming it, and uh, you shouldn't have any issues doing this. You're just kinda like messing around, so you know, feels good, man. Feels good, man, if I do say so myself. But that's generally how you mount, or sorry, world boss farm. Let's finally find out what we get. I've never gotten an SSR weapon before, only a ton of SR weapons, so eh, it is what it is. Do I get it? Nope, another quantum cloak shard and another SR weapon that converts over. Okay, well, anyways, that's it. Remember, sub like, check out all my stuff, like Twitch, Twitter, and what have you. Cheers. Epic Game Store creator code, Pupsker.